Hi there, my name is Nethiam, and today we're playing Subnautica. Welcome back, everybody. I hope you're having a great day. When we last left off, we were getting some new power situations cooking. That's our uh, first wind farm, which now it just isn't cutting it anymore, so we're going to have to build a couple more. Um, well, I think it is cutting it, but I think it's we're, we're getting close. We're getting close to where that doesn't cut it anymore. So we're going to do this. We're going to make another one of these, and then we've got this one, which is all going to be solar panels. So one problem that I realized in between last episode and this one, in the couple of seconds since I recorded that one, um, I'm not 100% sure if this is going to be able to still fit here. It will. Okay, never mind. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's perfect. It's lovely. All right, cool. I just wasn't sure if this, you know, this distance here was going to be far enough away, but it totally is. So we totally can fill these with... Uh, solar panel. So let's do that. Why don't we make that sort of our mission for the beginning of this episode? So we're gonna need three, seven, eleven, four, fifteen, fifteen more. Eight, twelve, fifteen. Yep. Okay. So let's go. Let's buy fifteen more of these. This is because I'd like to see them. I'd like to see them sort of match up in in their sort of saturation and just sort of see what it all it's all looking like and then uh, I should have bought I should have done that right then should have thought should have thought about what I was doing but let's start thinking about who can run off this power who can we who can we start to move over to these things now bef uh, before we uh before we load it up with even more. Because uh, theoretically, pretty soon, right, once it's this size, then any of the bases can connect to it, because currently all of the bases are connected to that, so clearly that's big enough to handle at least some of the bases. Um, so, but... Yeah, and power is definitely... Definitely was <laughs> going up. Now it's not. And I don't know why. The power in this game is unhinged um but it was going up quite quite rapidly and quite successfully so i'm not gonna worry about it but i think we're gonna start uh transferring some power let's start with the ocf because this isn't running a ton of stuff and it, well it's never gonna change so it's only it's always gonna be the same amount of power ah uh, you know what i didn't do Give them names. But anyway, let's let's check it out. Let's see what we got here. Let's look at our telepower pylon and see what my options are here. I'm not gonna sure I'm not sure which one's gonna be which. Or am I? Wait, what? Really? Interesting. Huh. Okay. Well, now I'm confused. I would have thought it was the... The thing. Oh, man. We're, we're just blowing through the power by bouncing back and forth like this. Um. There's two, though. All right. Let me get a... I'm going to need a couple more things. Let me get a couple more uh, windsurfer platforms. We'll just get two more of those. And we're going to get, um, let's say, four battery storage. And two windows. And just because I think I might need one, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get a power pylon. Okay, let's get that. Base 13, go. Yeah, I'm cuz yeah, I'm a little confused why I couldn't see both of these. Unless these are too close together. <gasps> Maybe that's it. Let's go see what this is. Well, no, because that said 1400. So I feel like if they were connected, they would be able to they would see the you would see the power. 
Yeah, this still 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 says fifty five hundred. So I don't think these are separate. This says sixty six, so I'm pretty sure this is the one they saw. So it does it only transmit power if it has a if it has wind turbines? Interesting. I thought it would transmit power if it had a uh guy. One of these dudes. 68. Interesting. Because, like, it gives it a number. And we're pa generating power. So it's not like... It's not like we're not generating power. I don't know. I don't know. Alright. I think one of my orders arrived. So let's go take a look. While we wait for this one to arrive. Yeah, that's weird. So that's why I bought the, the power pylon. Just in case... I love how it got mad at me because I wasn't putting it in deep enough water, but like that one doesn't seem to have an issue. Hello. Perfect timing. I just got here. Yeah, 15. I don't think I'm going to have the space for that. So let me grab this and these and these and these. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and put this away. And by away, I mean just right here. And then... 9... Yep, we can hold 15. Alright, that should be all the solar panels. Lovely. Thank you. Oh, I can see them nice and brightly now in the dark. All right. Do I want to flip this one before I get any further? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think it matters. It is what it is. It's fine. All right, but I am going to put something there. So let me make sure it's not going to conflict with the Seamoth. So I'm going to go ahead and put a blank platform here. And then I'm also going to put a monitor here. If for no other reason than just to change the name. Uh, wind Farm 2. Maybe we'll go rename Wind Farm 1 to Wind Farm 1. This is going to go ahead and have a couple of power storages, storage I. Meow. Sure. <laughs> ish. Next to each other, ish. And then these should be just cooking because currently we're not sending power anywhere except to them. So that should theoretically be good to go. But now... My problem is why are you not transmitting power anywhere? So let me give this guy a monitor as well. And yeah, this is definitely a different base. Solar farm two. Nope. <laughs> solar farm one. There we go. So that's solar farm one. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put a oh another platform here. And that's gonna have the batteries, just like the other one. but it's also going to have the telepower pylon. Now, 
this base is going to be slightly yes, less useful, obviously, because right now it's not running at all. Well, it's running a little bit. Just because the sun, I think, is coming up soon. But, or maybe it can, can it get enough power off of Ruidus here? What's happening? I don't think so. So what are you guys pointing at? Okay, sun sun zero percent. Whatever. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fight you. Can any chance I can get close enough to the edge? Yeah, I think so actually. I just don't wanna have to I don't I don't wanna rotate. Put it there. <laughs> Anytime I have to rotate, I'm I'm annoyed. But I think we're good. This it, they don't have to be perfect. Let's be honest. But hopefully, we can create a system in which these guys are generating a fair amount of power during the day. But I don't think I don't think they're ever gonna run. I don't think they're ever gonna run bases on their own. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do with these. I may just I may not end up using these. It's because like, uh, what can I what could I connect them to that isn't that isn't mission critical to the point that I don't need them to run all the time, you know, or that the that I'm confident the battery will keep up. You know? It's nice that they generate more power than the wind farms during the day. Or they can at least will I guess it remains to be seen if they always will, but cause some parts of the day might be better than others, maybe? Other times of day? I don't know. I don't know if solar power works in this game. I don't know how any of the power works in this game. <laughs> it's a it's a weird it's a weird mystery in my in my opinion. And I really wish there was a little bit more I wish it was a little bit more complicated. <laughs> in that I wish it would be like, hey, you're generating this this number of of watts or kilowatt hours or I don't know I wish we just used some real numbers and you know and there was some sort of you know I mean obviously like I can see I, like this is it, it should work right it should be right problem is that then I'll connect it to something and then everything just I'll go into the base and the numbers just won't be changing or like why did it just go so much slower all of a sudden was it because they had some buffer that they were offloading to the... But, like, why does that one have 350? Where's that 350 going? Why is it... And why is the sun 71%? Because there's clouds? There's just... I don't know. It's just... It seems a little opaque at times. Particularly the charge. Why does it have 350? That doesn't make any sense to me. Could it not send that 350 to the batteries? I don't understand. Are those, it, is this just not related? Will it only charge the batteries if their own internal is, is full? Is that what it is? But then why is this dropping a little bit? Where's that power going? You know? Like, it can't just be the excess. Because we're not powering anything with these solar clusters except for the batteries. So... It must be drawing... I don't know like that so yeah I just I don't I don't fully understand uh, what what this game thinks the power is doing or means but but look we got 27,000 oh right because of the store and <laughs> the batteries I was like whoa hold the phone 
Okay, well, that actually kind of ruined it. 7,000, I guess, is the number I'm looking at. But then I still don't know, like, what's the charge per second? Is there such a thing as a charge per second? It says power generation per second. 10. Which means nothing to me. Because is it going up by 10 per, se <laughs> per second? Who knows? No way to know. And then... Production per minute. So, thanks. That's a different... That's a different number altogether. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, but obviously, more than... More than the solar panels, I suppose. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Also, did I even set? I don't even think I set the OCF to use this power thing. So why is this going up at this rate? What dictates this rate that it's going up? That's like one per second. Why? How did, how did that get decided? Because, like, 460 per minute is certainly not one per second. <laughs> so where is that? Where's the rest of that power going? How can we possibly be generating 460.2 per power per minute times five and only going up and have only having our actual power storage go up by, like, two per second? 98, 99, 500, 501... 502 like that's not like what is how I just don't understand I don't understand how the power works in this game and I can't help but feel like I'm an idiot I mean unless this is just condensed right maybe the 460.2 is the five of them together but that still doesn't equal the speed at which this is going up and it does say distance power loss but which might be enough to mitigate those numbers but that seems pretty aggressive if it's taking it down to essentially nothing. So, I honestly don't know what the heck this game is talking about. Because none of it seems to make any sense at all. Like, can I configure these? There doesn't seem to be a way to configure these. They Maybe they have a draw limit? Which I guess would track. But... I wish it would sort of tell me what that was. Instead of just being like, yeah, dude, you can you can totally pull 460 power per minute, whatever power is, 460 bits per minute. Sure. <laughs> Times five, I think. Since the 1100 in the charge is, is, is just its own turbine. It's not, that's not condensed. So. I don't know. I genuinely do not understand. <laughs> ah, boy. Anyway, who knows? I have, so I have no idea which one of these is working better. I guess we can kind of just look at the thing. This is charged to about 600. And let's see what the other power stations are powered to. Obviously, they were put down a little later, but if they're more, then that even more so. Probably won't be more, though, because they can probably only charge it one a second. I don't know. Or whatever, you know, one a second-ish. Yeah, they're not much behind. They're not 600. But it's not like they're totally lagging or anything. But that seems to be charging at the exact same rate. Correct? So maybe that's it. These things, I, th I guess, maybe just can... Only draw that much. And so that's why these are all full? I guess. So I guess right now it doesn't matter how many I have, of the, how many of these I have. They're not doing anything right now. Which really sucks. <laughs> right? I mean, am I am I confused? Do, are these useless? These kind of seem useless to me. Because like I've got 8,000, like, right, they, they have their own storage, so it's not like I need battery storage, right? We've got, you know, we've got 7,000 power, that's not a lot, and I want more than that, but we've got 7,000 power that's just the, 
the bat internal batteries of the things, right? Those will stay in at night and those will drain too. And so we're only, we only got about, you know, 1200 power that's in the batteries, but these kind of, these kind of blow. <laughs> like if they, if this is the fastest they can charge, this it kind of makes solar panels kind of worth like this is fine right these run all the time so when there's excess they'll just dump them into the storage that's exactly right that's what i want them for right if they're making more than the bases are using dump them into the battery uh pack things that's awesome but this for this purpose where it's like this base shuts down for 12 hours out of the day or whatever percentage of the day cycle the night takes up um so I need these batteries. So like it almost makes something like this, which would be fully usable in like a Factorio kind of situation or a Minecraft or whatever, any other of these other games that use solar panels. Often what you need is a battery to store all that power that you're generating during the day. And theoretically, you're generating way more than everything needs. It all dumps into here. These start to fill up. I would kind of hope for these to sort of fill up almost all the way <laughs> during a day you know or at least a significant chunk at least what i'm generating right like if these are generating at 10 per second times 15 or times no not 15 uh 20 times 20 so 200 power per second fill these bad boys up 200 power per second like why do these have to be capped that's wild this isn't going in. These are just sitting there full. They shouldn't be full. They should be dumping into here as quickly as humanly possible. Just go. Oh, so I don't know. This this is stinky. It means I need like a billion of these. <laughs> if this is one a second, which it seems like it might be maybe a little faster than that. One and a half per second, two per second maybe. Uh, then I need like... I need like a hundred of these <laughs> to even like come close to actually like keeping up with all these. So this kind of, I don't know. It kind of, I kind of feel like it makes a solar farm almost worthless. I, I, I feel like I can't really connect this to anything because it's just going to, it's just going to blow through this power. Like if I teleport like twice, that power is gone. I don't know. seems weird. seems kind of weird. I guess 8,000 isn't nothing. Right, but I don't know if I feel super confident connecting to anything useful or, or or critical. So maybe I'll connect. Maybe I'll connect um the OCF to this. Because if the OCF doesn't work at night, it's not the end of the world. You know what I'm saying? I'd love it to work at night, but if it doesn't, it's sort of okay. So I'm gonna say push. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna select anything because I don't think I need to. But this should be solar farm two, and I should see that. Hopefully, hopefully I actually get all the power. But let's go find out. Let's travel to the OCF and connect it to the solar panel. Problem is, it's got a uh, it's got a teleporter, so that's gonna we're gonna kind of blow through some of its power if we actually connect it and then use that teleporter, which we're going to. But whatever. Hey. Testing environments is testing environments. So we gotta figure out what's up. And I could theoretically just give everything its own power. You know, and maybe like these might be worth it, having a whole field of these guys, but I think I don't know. I'm kinda just thinking at some point I can't have a billion of these, right? At some point they're gonna start crushing my game. So I'm not sure if wind farms are the the final power solution might have to be like nuclear or something like that i don't know we'll find out so ocf this is we're gonna go ahead and set this to be hopefully let's see if first let's see if it works see this is what i thought we would see <laughs> why is that happening now why why did it why wasn't it there before and now it is now that i put a okay Hi. <laughs> Alright, let's disconnect it from that. And let's go see what 
what we're looking at here in terms of our power. So we've got the 27,000. That's going up. It's certainly going up. Oh, no, it's not. Ooh, no, it's not. Okay. Is it daytime? I think, it, I mean, it is technically still daytime. So, yeah, I don't think we're generating enough power on the solar farm to actually support this base. It is a lot of stuff. I was kind of thinking like, yeah, it's not very many things, but it is like 15 <laughs> auto crafters theoretically running all the time. So I guess I get it. All right, let's switch it back to, uh, well, let's switch it over to wind farm too and see if that can keep up. Uh, so we'll we'll disconnect from that and we'll do wind farm too. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, it's fine, it's fine. So that also can't handle it, but it seems to be handling it better. Or it seems to be a little bit more stable, the stream of power that's coming in. Right? The the solar panels seem to be a little bit more erratic, where they'll sort of dump a bit of power and then sort of stop, and then dump a bit of power and then stop. This almost seems like it's like, we're generating a constant amount of power, you're just using more than we're putting out. So, I appreciate that. And, uh, yeah, I think, I think I'm actually going to, uh, pull the plug on the solar panels. I think we're actually not going to do that just cause I, I'm not loving it. I'm not loving how it's working. I'm not loving how consistent it isn't. <laughs> I don't like its lack of consistency. So I think we're going to instead focus our our energies on the wind, the wind turbines. It's because I think that they are just working significantly better. So why don't we go ahead and think about how many more we're going to need. Um, we're going to do 14 per thing. I've already got five down, so I'm going to need 11 more. Nope. Why did I, how did I even come up with that number? <laughs> I have five. And I want 14. So I need nine for one of them. And then another 14. <laughs> so 23. 23 more solar panels to get two full doodads. So let's see how much that's going to cost us. One, two, three. Oh, it'll just tell me. 23. Is that going to, do I have enough money for that? I sure am. But we're 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 making a we're making a bit of a dent on our cash, so uh, it might be time to actually get down to the <laughs> to the thing we were actually supposed to be doing. But you know this this is infrastructure, right? We're we're not going to be able to do too many more um, uh, things. We're not going to be able to do too many uh, or consumer installations without without a fair bit of cash. So it doesn't do us a whole lot of good to start making a bunch of ore consumers and drillers and things like that if we don't have the we don't have the power to support them. So So that's uh, they've got a, they they go hand in hand. Oops, that was too many. Oh, I already had a bunch too. All right, let me see. So yeah, uh I'm not I'm not upset about it. I think we're we're doing it well. We're doing we're doing it right. Okay. First, let me grab these. You can have oh, I have a couple of a couple of zeros in there. Cool. And then I don't need certainly don't need that many batteries on my person. Probably don't even need that many batteries. But it is nice to just be able to re re recharge some or reload something anytime it needs to be. Ooh, like the sea glide. Go ahead and throw in a new battery in there. There you go. And then we'll take one more. Because it turns out we did need that many. Hello? There, there. Okay, so, um, yeah, let's just wait for our delivery. There it is. 
And then we, oh my gosh, there's no way I'm going to be able to hold this all in my inventory. <gasps> I can? Whoa! <laughs> uh, all right, but now we're going to have to do a little dance of to get rid of solar panels and add uh, wind turbines. And we're going to have to sort of juggle the inventory uh, in order to do that because... It's not gonna be. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit, a little bit messy. But anyway, um, so we should be able to go. We're gonna add regular. Come on. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. All right. So that's that's the wind farm done, and that's a fair amount of fair amount of inventory space. So we should be able to, and then let's see, how are you, so how are you doing now? It's still going up at the same rate. It's still, that's still, ah, oh man. That's, that I think is a, was a mistake. Maybe not a bug level mistake, but I think it was a, I think it was an oversight. Or at least give me like an upgraded version or something. Some way of, some way of pulling the an amount of power that it actually makes sense. You know? Because I feel like... That's brutal. It's brutal that they can only pull in power that quickly. Or that slowly, rather. Alright, I'm going to remove this. I'm going to put that down. And then... Put one there. One there. Eh. <laughs> get 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 better angles, Riley. Killing me. Is this gonna work out? I might not have the inventory space for this. <laughs> Remove that, put a wind farm there, and then here and here, theoretically. I don't know if it would upset it to do, I guess it probably wouldn't, if we do all the wind farms here, and then remove the solar farms sort of out in, from out from under them. I don't think that matters too much. I kind of also wish that the wind turbines were an object that, like the drillers, just snapped to the middle of these platforms. So that you only ever made the blank platforms using the little interface. You know? But then... Did I do this wrong? I did it wrong. I did it wrong. Uh, right? I did. Inventory full. Because... Oh, no, this was... No, this is the one I did do right. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. I did it right. Okay. Remove, remove. Wind, wind... And then I should have one more wind surf kit, and I don't have enough inventory space <laughs> to get all these, take all these down. Oh, beans. But you know what? I do have a monitor. So I can just, I'll just drop these back at base 13. Oh. What? I thought they had, whatever. Let's put them in here. <laughs> Get out of here, solar clusters. No one asked you. All right, so that should be empty now. I should be able to take that down and put another wind farm there. Okay, cool. So there we go. Two more wind farms. Let's see. Are we still... 
I assume this is still fine. I assume these still aren't. That was pretty close. <laughs> kind of perfect, actually. But I assume these are connect are not considered the same base or anything like that. I assume they're still considered separate bases. So 35, 35,000. Yeah, I think so. All right, I'm gonna take this down since that does not seem to be necessary. And then, yeah, there we go. All right, I think uh, I think we're, we're we're doing stuff. We might make more of these because it's not it's not terribly difficult. It's a little expensive. Uh, it was probably more expensive to you know the mistake was probably more expensive than the than the actual construction. Um, what? Oh, um, <laughs> buying all of these solar panels was probably worse, but beans on toast. All right. Anyway, uh, or I guess I could just, uh, there's always room for an orange soda. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I think it's going to have to do it for this episode. When I come back, we will get back to making some, uh, or consumer, uh, outposts because or uh so that we can start making even more money and building more power and making more money and building more power and making more money and building more power back and forth and back and forth and we're back and forth until we're just making obscene amounts of money hopefully we'll see we'll find out but anyway thank you so much for joining me i can't wait to see you again and i hope you have an incredible day okay bye Thank you again for watching the video. If you'd like to see more from me, feel free to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when my videos go live. I'd also very much love to hear from you down in the comments below.